Lawrence Yap said, "Just because there is tarnish on the copper doesn't mean there is not a shine beneath." But when and how do we look for the copper in the eye? This video demonstrates classical neurosystemic signs of Wilson disease. and varied spectrum of kf ring and its demonstration ophthalmologists play an important role in confirming the diagnosis in suspected cases of wilson disease these patients usually have unexplained jaundice temper tantrum issues along with varied neuromuscular signs like ataxia spastic dystonia tremors of the extremities classic wing beating tremors hemicorrhea or dystonic head movements a careful ocular examination is must in such cases to detect the presence of copper deposition in the peripheral cornea at desmoid membrane level this copper deposition is known as case of fissure ring in severe cases the kf ring can be very dense and can be detected by naked eyes on torch light examination In most of the cases a careful slit lamp examination is required to detect the KF ring. Classically this brownish yellow granular deposit appears in the superior cornea followed by inferior cornea and then progresses circumferentially to cover the cornea 360 degrees. In early or subtle cases gonioscopy can reveal the KF ring at the level of desmoid membrane. and three segment oct can also be used as a diagnostic modality when presence of kf ring is doubtful on clinical examination it appears as a hyper reflective line at dm level kf ring can also serve as a therapeutic indicator as it disappears after the treatment it also is helpful screening tool in siblings of patients with diagnosed wilson disease on neuroimaging these patients may show t1 and t2 weighted hyper intensities in pons midbrain bilateral dentate and putamen So a focused and timely ophthalmic examination can help diagnose this systemic condition promptly and reduce the morbidity caused by this multisystem disorder. Come let's keep looking through this copper plated mirror. Thank you.